then, last time, the adventuring party had fought and had slight issues with a fire giant that was the former chosen of that evil deity. The, uh, uh, partway into the battle, eventually one of your guys' compatriots, um, I don't remember his name. Uh, no, what's your character's name again? Crux. Crux. Crux came back in an all-powered up kind of state, so to say, and with his help, along with your reinvigorated spirit, you guys killed off the fire giant. Uh, in doing so, you gained the blessing, you went forward, you acquired your stuff, and then you went about and set up a plan. Uh, having proven yourselves to your horde, uh, you guys set up and devised a plan. In this plan, um, one minute. We developed a plan. No, you can't take my sleeps. These are my sleeps. Tate, I can just cast sleep on you. Do it once a day. I think there's a hit die restriction on it, but... Alright, uh, with it, you guys set up a plan to have... Uh... Essentially everyone, uh, because you rolled that well, uh, take part in. This plan was, while this festival type of ordeal was going on for some more of the noble individuals, including the, the king and whatnot that you intended to uh, kill off, um, or more importantly, the heroes that are kind of scattered about it, uh, that killed off your guild's leader and multiple members of your um, horde, sorry, of your horde's leaders and multiple members of it, um, the rest of your your compatriots would be attacking small villages as a way to distract the bases and get them to have a lot of their soldiers leave the base and then have your more stronger individuals attack the base or bases rather uh, in order to cut off the supply lines of all the different major cities and smaller areas and basically just destroy the Empire itself, and one big swoop. The Empire has never seen such a orchestrated attack, but a big part of it also relies on what you guys are going to do, which is basically killing off the leaders and the most powerful of the powerful individuals in the Empire, which happen to be here. Uh, and that is where we are picking up, is with you guys getting ready to do whatever you're going to do in order to defeat the heroes, the aristocrats, and whoever else I guess you decide to kill off. Um, and then while that is going on, the attack that is going on. Uh, due to the roles that you guys did, no matter how this here turns out, the smaller towns get attacked. You lose actually minimal amount of troops in these smaller towns. Um, pretty much it's when the soldiers start to show up, there's a few that get killed off, but for the most part, they know when to strike and when to run. Cows, cows Sorry. Got them well. Uh, loud music. Um, when to attack and when to run. Uh, and they're pretty well equipped. As far as attacking the bases, again, minimal casualties for you guys 
Uh, a few lost here and there, but all in all, they were very well equipped. This was not expected, uh, but it now makes sense to the to the uh, bases and bigger cities as to where their materials and supplies have been going when getting ransacked, as well as why different mines have suddenly been stripped clean. Um, it all makes sense now. So whether or not We're all you guys are successful here, in the end, the Empire has been dealt a massive hit and is currently put into a state of chaos unbeknownst to these individuals. So just for the sake of looking real quick, I see where Kelb and Tate are where are the rest of you oh there's jared i am over here there's noah and i'm where hiding are you, in some trees and lamb is hiding in those trees okay um i'm gonna have you all roll initiative and that is gonna be when you go in order to do the actions that you want to do right now we are not currently in combat. The initiative is merely to decide what you do until you get into combat. If you, if someone gets into combat and you want to join them, you can just say, I'm going to join combat. And then your initiative order will be placed in with the, or will be considered as part of combat. Otherwise, the moment the first combat starts, everyone, you'll retain the this old, the one you're rolling now, but you'll be at the end of each combat phase. Does that make sense? It will when we get to it, if it doesn't. Yeah, uh, so, just, just to clarify, we're using our level 13 characters right now, right? Yes, uh, I, should, I should specify that as well. Uh, with all of what you guys have done leading up to this point, you are now level 15 characters. Uh, albeit, Kelb's character has a level adjustment, so he is not technically level 15, but he is a just at 15. Um, I'm a late, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the characters... After this phase will be level 20, the reasoning being held off until we find out how this goes down. Um, but yeah, real quickly, I'm going to ask for everyone's AC and HP. I'm going to go down the line. Kelb? Uh, AC 16 HP is, uh, what are we for? Lamb? HP 218, AC 31. Tate? HP 255, AC 19. Keep in mind, I do have the dodge feet and mobility. And I do have the uh, Cloak of Displacement, which gives me 20% mischance. I need you guys to keep those in mind. I've got... Uh, I, I know, I'm just saying for when I've you I've got about it's... 25 to 30 NPCs currently on the board that I'm all keeping track of. I can't even keep Don't it worry. all on one I made, paper. I made a little note on my character. Okay, just keep track of it whenever you get attacked. As an example for you, Tate... If I say that you're getting attacked, say displacement. Because if you forget, it's an automatic they they succeeded. If you forget. I'm just bringing it up in case it's like you have a thing and it's up to 31. I can just, right. I have mobility. Or if it's an attack of opportunity, blah, blah, blah. All that jazz. What's mobility do? Mobility is plus four versus attack of opportunity. Okay. So it's 35 when they want to attack of opportunity you. Gotcha. 36 if I have them marked for dodge. <laughs> um, Jared? Ninety-five health and twenty-three AC. And Noah. One seventy health, twenty-six AC. Alrighty. Um, 
So I'm going to have uh, you guys roll initiative. Go ahead, and then I will go down the line again. I should roll it when you first mentioned that you were going to have us roll it. Same. Damn you, dice. Gotcha. Jared? Or, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Kel? No, we're starting with Jared now. All right, fine. Jared? <laughs> I agree with that, Jared. Eight. Noah? 19. Kel? 23. Lamb? Fucking dice. 13. Tate? This is for initiative? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can I swap initiatives with Cal? Just kidding. No. Um, Alright, so in that order, uh, Kelb, Noah, Lamb, Tate, Jared. So, what I'm going to need you guys to do then is in that order, decide what you're going to do, and if you're going to get into a spot where you get seen, expect that you're probably going to be put into combat, unless you're trying to be stealthy and whatnot. Because, uh, just to make sure, your weapons are drawn, yes? You're not, uh, walking in nonchalant, la di da my sword can stay on my back, or are you doing that? My weapons are always drawn, but I am doing that. I don't really need to have my weapon out right now. So. My weapon is my face. Okay. Well, go ahead and decide what you're gonna do. Actually, okay, give me a friend. give me a hot quick second, and then uh, and then decide what you're gonna do. Okay, big friend. You will like bricks, new bricks. Bricks, new bricks are good bricks. So this is the big one, huh, big friend? We take their city. And we make it ours, right? Is this meant to be a city? Nope, this is just a fairgrounds type of ordeal. We take this and this is ours now, right? Are you saying this aloud to me, by the way, or are you whispering? Because we are not that far away from a building. I'm whispering it. Rick is smart. I'm this, Go I was going to say, this, by the way, is your chance to decide who you're going to attack and have that discussed among you guys, because you would have discussed that. I'm writing down initiatives of, you know, people and putting them in order. Um, I would like to... What? Why does he have shadow eyebrows? Because that's how lighting works on a model. I didn't know that these models had shadow. It's probably the game. Grab butt. Crab butt. <laughs> I'm exploring while Marcus does his thing. And I scrolled over to the crab's butt. Marcus, how tall are these buildings? Taller than you. Uh, I mean, they're just like a five foot or so building. It's not. I'm sorry, a five like... foot building? That is tiny as shit. Or... Not five foot. Uh, oh, ten foot or whatever. What, whatever your average size building would be, that's one single layer with a roof. They're not tall buildings. It's just like a a uh, meet and greet style building. It's kind of like a uh, summer house, so to say. So, does this building have a uh, curved roof or a flat roof? 
Uh, when I say curved, I mean sloped, like normal houses in real life. Uh, probably sloped and not super pointy, so you could sand on it, yeah. If that's what you were thinking of doing. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of thinking what I was doing. So the reason I asked uh, how far up it is. Well, uh, in that case, uh, 40 feet is not much movement. So I would say these are probably going to be about 10 feet high, Marcus. Probably be, honestly like 12, then eh. With the uh, roof, depending on the angle, probably go up like another 15 in the middle of where it may slope up to. Depends on if they uh, got a lot of snow here or not, or whatever the weather would be like. That seem legit, Marcus? I'd say so, yeah. Uh, 5, 15, 20, 30, 35. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. That is 5, 10, 15. Wait. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Why would get me there? That's five foot up. Five foot up. Five foot up. Five foot up. That's twenty feet up in the air. Uh, that is then five, fifteen, twenty, thirty. Five, fifteen, twenty, thirty. Alright, so I got another ten feet of movement. I'm also twenty feet in the air. So I don't actually need to go up that high. And uh, five ten. Alright. I should be able to get to the roof there at this moment. The real question now is, does the roof cave in under my weight? That's a structural integrity question, and considering you're standing on a non-focal point... <laughs> standing on pretty much where the wall helps. I don't think so. Marcus? Okay. There. I got the initiative order done. Uh, so, d d does the roof support my weight here? Oh uh, yeah, it's stone. It's not like cheap wood, so eh. that's good. It is painted and whatnot. It makes it look pretty, but uh, it's not cheap. It's definitely made more for the nobles. So, it shouldn't be a problem with me walking on. Shouldn't, but, you know, who knows. But is that going to be your whole turn, then? Yep. Alright. In that case, uh, Noah, you're up. So, Crooks is going to walk up all nonchalantly and start devouring fire. Uh, 
All right. Um, are you trying to make yourself hidden from them? Not gonna eat it all, just a little bit. Still gonna let the fire go back up afterwards. Or I can flip it across the table. No, the game grabbed the wrong thing. What happened to the guy that was there? He got flung somewhere. He got eaten. Well, he's still apparently on the table somewhere, because if he fell off, he should have came back around here or so, but... Yeah, I can't see him anywhere. Unless he fused into the table or some shit. What was his name? I don't remember. That's the problem. Otherwise, I'd just spawn in another. He was a second half orc barbarian level 3. That was his thing, but I don't remember which one that is. Never you wanna just done. go and you wanna just rewind the table, Kel? Don't do it. You really wanna take that chance? There's so much on this table. Or if you're able to look at at the uh, the script or some shit. The file, I guess, not the script. Oh, my sweet God. Or I guess the other option would be it's reading like each and every single person. Or just adding a guy named Steve. He's Biff still the there. understudy. That is one glitch I found with the table sometimes there, Kel. Things will fall through, and then it's as if they get stuck on the bottom of this or something, because they just never come back. Well, I, I mean, I do have a 
alternative means to figure out which one it was. <laughs> D and D session sixty-eight mid. All right, load that one. There, he's back. Resrack. How you doing there, J Jared? I see your pain's at 900. Yeah, it just finished loading. Yeah, yeah, loading again. Again. It's back, by the way, Cobb. It's back because I loaded the original save. Mm. But I saved the other thing that we were at before we loaded that one. So now we actually just have the character model and I copied it. It's another gotcha. step to the left. And take a step to the right. Ta da! He's back. Let's do the He's time back? more. He's also floating, but. Eh. He has ascended. <laughs> Time. Oh, I found him. Where the fuck did you find him? Uh, inside of the armory. Somehow he flew literally across the world. How the fuck? Okay. They're sentient. Well, we have a spare res rack then. Alright. Anyway. So, what I was trying to do was unlock them because... Noah just initiated combat. Uh, what this means is that Lamb, Tate, and Jared, unfortunately for you guys, you're going after combat phase. Technically, That's everyone fine. who is not in combat goes in the order that you just rolled after the combat. That's fine. So that's Noah's turn. Uh, let's see. Oddly enough, the one person that we lost was the person that goes before he does. You get off that other game, Tate. Oh, I saw that. All right. He's going to make an attack at you. Every time you reload, all my cameras disappear. All right, he's uh, attacking you know with a 19, which I believe does not work. And then second attack. With a 15, which again, does not work. Uh, so this half orc just grabs his great ax next to him and swings it wildly at you at the sight of a, uh, you're a kobold, aren't you? Yeah. 
Okay, at the sight of, of you, the kobold. Next up on the on the uh, combat initiative is you. Ah, what is wrong with you? I was just getting a snack. Um, in this time frame, things like kobolds and orcs and uh, goblins, yeah, they're not accepted. I'm still no, gonna shout that before I punch the fuck out of him. Fine yes. Enough. So go ahead and roll your attack. Just make sure I'm on the right sheet so I don't actually use the 20 stats. Uh, that's... 39? <laughs> yeah, that hit. And it's critical threat range. Because I have improved crit on my fists. Thirty-seven? Damage? No to confirm. Oh, yeah. Eighteen physical damage and fifteen fire. Eighteen and fifteen? All right, is that your turn then? No, I'm going to... I can still move after attacking, right? Yep. I'm gonna drop my bear trap and stop moving here. All right, in that case then, uh... See who's next. All right, uh, Orlo Orloda is running into camp, uh, yelling, "Monsters are attacking!" Monsters? You mean monster? It's only one. They're aware of. Yeah, they know monsters don't attack uh, or do things alone. They're always a horde. Especially those nasty goblins and kobolds, little fucking freaks. Wow. Again, you're in a time frame where you are not an accepted race. Good. All right, and these two move in to uh, help. And, uh,. Because of his yelling, these two technically have entered combat, and one of them goes into the building if, uh, I don't know if any of you could see that, but still. Um, alright, so now back in the not in combat phase, Lamb. By the way, you can all hear the yelling. Yay. So you already know someone has started. For like, uh, for Lamb, Tate, and, uh, Kelb, it's a lot harder to hear than for Jared. Um, but for Kelb, you can kind of see the running very difficultly but you can see it because of being on top of the building so right dude. just the little bit of it you saw fire moving in an unnatural way going yep that was crux and then you can hear a muffled yell that you're not quite sure what it is so hey do you want to listen check or if you truly 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 want to hear him say monsters are attacking otherwise you hear yelling I think you would assume. Cool. If I'm going to assume, I'm going to use my dragon breath this way, hitting seven people. Okay. What do they need? Just a reflex save? DC 25 reflex. Pretty sure none can make it, but let's do that well, for the commoners. they natural 20s. <laughs> They'll probably still die because it's 76. 
Nope. So go ahead and roll damage. 22. If you're curious, commoners have 5 plus 1d6 health. That's how little health they all have, except for your actual combat people. And all of them just took 22. I'm yeah. pretty sure they explode. Figuratively. Hey! Hey, me! So what you're gonna do, Tate, as I change the color on these boys? I know what I'm gonna do already. I should probably roll my fucking recharge. Seeing Azarug fly up to the top of the building, Brick feels confident he can climb up to the top of the building. Okay. I'm gonna roll a clap. Uh, yeah, in terms of climbing, it almost looks like you just walked up it. You're up there. <laughs> Brick is such an Brick. idiot, he can defy gravity by not believing in it. In a sense, yeah. I mean, with the roll of 30, it's pretty much just... There's no handles. <laughs> he still gets up there. It's a flat time. surface. It's it's uh, 45 degrees pointing towards you. Yeah, I climb it. Fuck off. His hands for temporarily become su suction cups. Essentially. So you get up there, what do you do up there? You're on top of a stone building with a uh, reinforced wooden-esque ceiling. Standing ne next to Azarug. Sound like party started. You want in? Uh, brick and Mortar is going to take his uh, Great Axe and attack the floor. You mean the ceiling? Yeah. Uh, ceiling. I guess for you, yep. roof. But still. Okay, go ahead and attack it. Just Not rock. Just roll damage. It's a... Oh, okay. You can't miss a ceiling. No, but it can miss a stationary target. That's true. Not, not Brick. Brick can't. Pretty sure Brick has. Although, technically, missing a stationary target doesn't happen. It's things like it... Well, maybe it missed, but it's also maybe your armor bounced off it, or they dodged, or... Oh. AC is such a is... loose fucking term for D and D. Full power attack is two points, right? So I get plus sixteen. You're it's able to plus spend eight. your your to hit on plus damage, yeah. Yep. So that is a twenty-four. There is a hole in the ceiling with a if you're jumping in. Uh, or not, either way. After, like, a second or so, you hear a, HOLY SHIT! Brick's gonna peek in and be like, Hi. Sorry about ceiling. You see a guy that's working at the forge, is that all you do? Yeah, because Azarug's gonna be able to do something. Okay. What, fit through a tiny hole made by an axe? You can jump on it. I made it oh, weaker. Oh, it's, it's big enough for you. And besides, it just needs to be big enough for you to, like, shoot something through. You don't necessarily have to go down. <laughs> just need a line of sight. Uh, with that said, then, after Tate is Jared. So, what does Ohanzi do? He just heard a ceiling get destroyed... And someone yelling about their attacking before that. Or monsters are attacking. I 
I'm going to hide by this window and see how the people inside are reacting. Uh, they look confused. They're not quite sure because being inside, the, it's also muffled. But they also heard now an explosion and what sounds like someone yelling. So now, you know, what's going on? I'm not too sure. And you see, uh, what are they? You see a half-orc and a half-orc. Um, by the way, it, if you hover over a name, it'll tell you the race and their general class, NPC class. So if it says, like, say, warrior, they're not even level one warriors. They're, you know, the fucking scribes wanting to become it. If it says something like commoner, just assume that it's dwarven. There's and... also a fucking wizard named Murica. <laughs> yeah, thank you for uh, random uh, name generators and whatnot. Oh, please tell me you gave him a whole bunch of spells that make things explode. No, they're, they're all randomly generated. Oh. But uh, anyway, so yeah, just confuse people figuring stuff out and you see the two half orcs grabbing their weapons, it looks like they're getting ready to try and defend all the people that are in here. Thirty-two on my hide. Okay. Now, before we get to the, uh, to you, Kelb, Technically, we're back into the combat phase, which, Lamb, you have now entered. And so has all the people over here because of your attack. Is this a person or is that a... Okay, that is a person. It's a person. It's just weird because they're not a Goomba. The Goombas are all the, in, the non-important NPCs. And then okay. the other ones are the important NPCs so that I could keep track. And in short, so there was a difference so I knew which is which. Yeah. All right, so top of the order then is uh, Rez here, whom is going to pop a health potion. And then chase after while drinking so. Uh, far as you can get chase after crux and he sees your bear trap although that is as far as he could go so it wasn't going to be effective either way um but he sees you and he is armed and ready which leads us now i th think to you noah give me one second to check people's names um yeah leads us to you physical and 15 fire I can only use the multiple attacks if I stand still right correct that's if you take a full attack option which means you sacrifice your move Isn't very nice. Will you let me eat the fire? And after Noah is, um, I think him. All right, it is this guy. Let me just get to his thing. You say this guy. I don't know which guy you talked about. It is Or. It is the guy at the stores. A guy oh. at the stores. Over by the hand. Got it.
Uh, he yells, get into the building, and runs or heads this way. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, what kind of armor is he wearing? He is wearing a breastplate. So this is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Okay. He's wearing metal. I wish that actually did something, but it doesn't. Oh, that electricity somehow interacted with metal armor? Yeah. Yeah. I understand why it doesn't there also be retarded, like, super-powered, but... Right. Again, there's a lot of things with D&D &D that... I enjoy D&D, &D, but there's a lot of things that are like, eh. Like AC, representing every single form of uh, defense. At the same time. Yeah. At the same time. And DC is just a glorified AC. Yeah. Same thing with check penalties. Or not check penalties, uh, th uh saving throws. Let's go back to Thacko. No, All right. walk Thacko. Anyway, he is attacking you with his long- with- nice no, longsword, with his longbow. Dak Ogre needs to go die in a closet. It's just a more confusing AC. Does a 34 hit. Yes. How the fuck is a dwarf fighter one hitting for thirty four? Or two. That's not dwarf. It, that's not his level. That's just a thing that I had carry do so that I could have a quick like ah he's a he's the fighter on the first fighter on the page. Oh. Or the first dwarf fighter on the page, which in the end didn't help too accessibly. For sorting, but it's how I did it. I guess to be fair, there's a lot of things on the field. Like, I, I don't know, there's a better yeah. option for that. Oh, son of a bitch. Alphabetize their names, I guess, is probably the only way I can think of to sort them. I keep forgetting about, like, the main thing with my fucking class. God damn it. Oh, yeah, you're fucking auras. Aura? Oh. Anyway, he was, uh, hitting Lamb? Uh, yep, I'm just... Uh, for five damage. It's just a composite longbow. It's not magical or any of that kind of shit. Even then, for a composite longbow? Yeah. It's 1d8 plus strength for damage. If you're curious, he rolled low. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm guessing a water or two. Anyway. After or, um, I don't think it is. Let's see, you're in there, and you're there, which means it's you, Lamb. You're up. You just killed off seven people, or just yelled to the people, uh, to the people in the shops, ran up and shot you with a bow. Yep. Pie, pie, going... pie. 
<laughs> I'm going to go I, 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 over Ye. Whip out my mace. It's not a mace. The Morning Star. And I'm going to hit him with it. All right. I'm going to attempt to hit him with it. I hope my. Well, these guys are not like you guys at all. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, with my rolls. That one wasn't bad. I was expecting you to get a nat 20, by the way, off of that. <laughs> and then fail to uh, confirm. That is a 34. That is a hit. For seven damage. All right. Uh, after Lamb, then let's see. We have one of the two guys over at the campfire still, right? Yeah. I just have to check them as I go to figure out who's next. Um, is this guy? All right, uh, he's clearly making a beeline for the building. Even in a fucking dead sprint, he can't make it in. Um, Poor bastard. Next up then would be more or... How's his movement speed, 15? 20. Could be 15 with the armor. It's not. He doesn't have, like, super heavy armor. Uh, yeah. Now these guys are equipped like you guys. They aren't decked out in magical items and whatever else. They are, uh, they're just people. In a sense, the reason you guys are so well off and so lucky is you do have the blessings of an evil god, whereas these guys do not have the blessings of a god. Because the gods left on vacation. No, in this time frame it would be more, half of them are dead, and the other half said fuck it with the mortal plane. You're in the precursor to one of the big wars, technically. And on that day, they created the dimension of infinite punching. <laughs> the plane of infinite fists and punching. Just... Just don't enchant it into some underwear. I am going to assume that a 24 does not confirm crit. On me? Noah? Nope. Shouldn't you have already known that, considering you asked for HP and AC? Yeah, but I don't know if someone's sure. using dodge, or if someone's using, um, some sort of shit like that. I don't have any of the special things, except dragon form. Gotcha. Jesus Christ. Fucking, he rolls a 20 for his first of four attacks, and all three other fucking attacks couldn't go higher than a 10 on the roll. Alright, he hits you once as he swings fucking wildly. 